Okay, everybody. Um, this is a continuation of our discussion of systems of equations on the SAT and PSAT. Uh, so first of all, systems of equations are a really valuable uh, skill regardless of your future in math. I think they come up fairly often and um, uh, I like them and I think you should try your best to become good at them because uh, even though they can be tough, uh, when they're a word problem, it's a, they can be very interesting, um, sort of nice critical thinking problems. It's a worthwhile thing to try hard at and get good at to be able to make, uh, to, to create these equations. Um, and then with these kinds of problems, when they're just uh, written in math and you don't have to do a word problem, once again, they can be difficult for a lot of people, but solving them is really systematic. And so if you try hard, you can become really good at them, and they happen a lot on the SAT and PSAT. If you become good at these kinds of problems, you can get some problems correct that are some of the most difficult uh, problems on the SAT, and that can really uh, give you a boost on your score. So uh, there are generally two uh, systems of, of, of solving these kinds of equations, substitution and elimination. And we're going to look at this problem right here uh, as an example of a system of equations. Notice we have x plus 4y equals 8 and 5x plus 3y equals 23. And both of these equations go together. Um, so remember, how do we know it's a system of equations? Because there are two variables. We can never solve uh, an equation that has two variables unless we have at least two other equations using the same variables. So anyway, um, this to me is an example of when it's nice to use substitution. We like to use substitution when it's easy to get one of the variables all by itself. As of now, x and y are both on the same side of the equal sign, but it won't be very hard to get uh, rid of that 4y and get it over on the other side. All we've got to do is, since we have plus 4y, we're going to say minus 4y and subtract that from both sides. And so what we get, this uh, 4y cancels. And I can rewrite this below as x, this is canceled, equals 8 minus 4y. Okay, so um, now we can just get rid of that. So we've writ rewritten that equation down here. It's now x equals 4y. Now we have x all by itself. You can express x equals 8 minus 4y as 8, or I'm sorry, as x is 8 minus 4y. x is 8 minus 4y. Therefore, up here where we have an x, x is 8 minus 4y. Therefore, this is that. 8 minus 4y is that x. Therefore, we can rewrite this whole um, equation, and where the x is, we substitute that. 5 times 8 minus 4y. x is 8 minus 4y, therefore we can change that x into 8 minus 4y. And then that's this part of the equation, so we just rewrite the rest. Plus 3y equals 23. Rewrite that. Okay, so now we can get rid of that because we've rewritten that equation. Now, what's the cool thing? We only have y's. This is a simple equation. 5 times 8, we're distributing here. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times negative 4y is negative 20y plus 3y equals 23. Uh, so now we've got negative 20y plus 3y, that's going to be 40 minus, these two things combined, negative 20 plus 3 is negative 17 equals 23. 
Uh, now we can subtract 40 from both sides. That cancels. Bring this down here. Negative 17y equals negative 17. And therefore, uh, divide both sides by negative 17. And y is left here equals negative 17 divided by negative 17 equals positive 1. y equals positive 1, you can easily go back to the original equation and find out what x is at that point. The, what is the take-home message? Let's go back to the original equation. It was x plus 4y equals 8, I believe. Either way, the key was x was by itself uh, or, and, and was easy, it was easy to get x all by itself on one side of the equation by subtracting 4y from both sides. And we got x equals 8 minus 4y. x was all by itself. Since x equals 8 minus 4y, we can say x is 8 minus 4y, and we can put that and substitute it wherever we see x in the other equation.